Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying making change. Let's say you buy this beach ball for $2.35 and you give $5, okay? So you're giving more money than what it costs. And then the clerk or the shopkeeper will give you some change. He will give you the difference of these two amounts. But in this problem, we're gonna study a method for finding the change, which is called counting up. And that means that we start with this amount and we count up until we reach $5. Okay? This is how it goes. I basically think of the coins I would use, for example, $2.35. Let's say that I add 5 cents to that. Okay? Then I would have $2.40, right? After that, I would have $2.40. And then I would add 10 cents. And after that, I would have $2.50. And then I go up. I want to go to the next whole dollar, to $3. So I'll take two quarters. And at that point, I am at $3. And then from $3 to $5, I need $2, right? And so all those coins and bills I drew is your change. So the change will be $2.50.65. Now let's try that again with these yummy grapes. Aren't they yummy, Matthew? Oh yeah, he wants to go eat them. They cost $7.82. And you give $10. Again, we will count up. Starting with this amount, 82 cents, so I will first draw coins to go to 90 cents, okay? I would draw 8 cents. Here's 8 cents, and after adding this and this, I would have $7.90. And then I add 10 cents, and after that I would have exactly $8. And then again I need $2, okay? And that makes it $10. And the change is all that is here. $2, 15, 16, 17, 18. One more time. There's some pants and they cost $13.99. You give $20. Okay, we'll do the same thing. We count up from this amount towards 20 so there's 99 cents. First, I will just add one cent. And then I am at $14. After that, okay, it is pretty easy. $14 and $20, I just need $6 more, right? So $5 and $1. And that makes it. The change is therefore $6 and one cent. 